guys and welcome back to another cheat day video finally after so long and today I wanted to do some type of different video a few weeks back I asked you guys for your weirdest food combo creations and thank you so much for everybody who sent me in their idea I actually had royal donuts made me six crazy food combination donuts based on your ideas and we're gonna have them sometime later this day but this morning I wanted to focus on weird food combos I found on the internet I found for example peanut butter and pickles ice cubes and cereal and I just want to pretty much focus on what I found this morning then later we have some donuts and then I'm gonna ask you on my Instagram to tell me what to have for dinner so if you want to participate next time in a video like that just follow me on Instagram and and Twitter because I will be asking questions there yeah this morning I felt like having McDonald's with a twist so I went and got some McDonald's I think these are yeah these are the croissants I got eggs and I will go with the flow and show you what crazy food combos people actually created and somebody wants to say hi but you heard somebody downstairs so say hi Oreo Yes, I know. Okay, I'm gonna let her go. First up, I have a pumpkin spice latte, which cost me three euro, and there's absolutely no pumpkin spice flavor in there. I don't know why. So I have this pumpkin spice mixture, and I think there's a little curry in there, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the pumpkin spice in there, and that's not crazy food combo yet, but I wanna get my pumpkin spice latte from McDonald's. I wanted to test it because, you know, compare it to Starbucks, but okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put salt in our coffee. I found this on some side and this coffee can get any worse, so it's not that crazy because I feel like you always put some salt in something sweet and some sugar in something savory. Hold on. I can really taste it, you know, it's good. But it's, that's not what we're here for. We are here for the weird food combos. And one weird food combo I found was bacon and maple syrup. So I got scrambled eggs and bacon and the package they gave it to me and already like became soggy. I mean, this is not the most appetizing, but we're going to pour some maple syrup over the eggs. And honestly, I don't think that's weird. I don't think that's gross. I think it sounds pretty, pretty good. And I don't have a fork, so I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. Should I make a, should I? Honestly, this is really good. You know what? I'm going to put that on the muffin, the bacon on here, the eggs. I mean, honestly, this is pretty good. This is like the McGriddle, but where the sauce is not in the bread, but in the eggs. You know what? That's a hack, actually. I don't know if you have in the US just a simple bacon and egg and then like, get a muffin on the side. If you do, ask for syrup on the side as well. It's Literally just like a McRill. This combo is definitely Olivia approved. That was actually really delicious. We have a McMuffin with um, fresh chicken. It's like fried chicken. I show you. It's like they serve it for breakfast. And it comes with cheese, lettuce, I think, and mayo. This is what it looks like. And I wanted to put some, because it said somewhere peanut butter and mayo. So I'm going to actually make a peanut butter jelly chicken McDonald's McMuffin. That's what I'm gonna make. Yeah, there's mayo in there. So somebody said peanut butter and mayo. So I'm going to pretty much do that. Peanut butter, some raspberry jam. So I'm going to put this on my fresh McChicken. And now it's full of maple syrup too. And uh, tell you how this is, there's a tomato in there too, so. I'm not gonna lie, this is incredible. <laughs> I'm so surprised right now. I don't even feel I'm doing a weird food combo video. Like these are life hacks. The mayo and the peanut butter, as gross as it sounds, go actually really well together. I don't know what it is, maybe the, like the nuttiness from the peanut butter, 
and then the mayo, it's amazing. And then the sweet hint from the jam. McDonald's hit me up for a collab. Bow together from Song Smith and Russian Mayo and peanut butter, and in general, this fresh McChicken is 1 million percent Libya approved. In fact, go do yourself a favor and recreate this. We're going to pimp it even more. Here I have a normal bacon and egg McMuffin, which doesn't look appetizing. And somebody said bacon and peanut butter, but I mean, I feel like this is pretty much common sense. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put peanut butter jelly on this and Doritos because I read that somewhere too, like a peanut butter jelly Dorito sandwich. So I kind of take it to the next level, put some sweet chili Doritos on there with my bacon and egg on a McMuffin. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be good for the texture. McMuffin, peanut butter. I wanna call this a life hack, but I'll of course test it first for you guys. So see, you can't really taste any particular any particular flavor. It's just the flavor combo has its own taste that like it basically eats up all the other flavors and I really like it. Um, the crunchiness, the hint of sweetness, the bacon, the nuttiness from, from the peanut butter. It's, it's just overall a really nice dish. This is Libya approved and I feel like also people who are not as tolerant when it comes to food combos would like this because you can taste the similar flavors, just a good combo. For example, you, you can taste the chips. They just give the crunchiness, so Livia approved. All right. We have two croissants. One is a bacon, I hope one is a, yeah. It doesn't look good at all, but this one is a bacon and um, ham croissant and this one is just a normal croissant. They actually already cut it for you, which is kind of nice. And I'm so sorry, Nate, I have to do this. One thing I saw was peanut butter and pickles. And I'm going to taste test this for you guys. It sounds weird, but I can see that this could taste good. So I chose a croissant to put it on because I just love croissants. So I, like I said, Nate, I'm so sorry for this. In the name of science, I gotta try this. Make a few nice slices and put it on here. Slap that bad boy on. I mean, it doesn't look nice, honestly, but that's due to my skills. So, peanut butter pickle, here we go. This is fantastic. I think it definitely depends on what kind of pickles you have, but these are my favorites. They are not as sour. Just like the hint of like sour and crunchiness and freshness from the pickles with the peanut butter. Super Livia approved. And almost last, we're going to put on the ham and cheese croissant, we're gonna put some Oreos. I'm trying to um, insert all Basically the pictures where I found these ideas. I hope I can find them again, but yeah, this was one too. Oreo and McDonald's just married, and that's the result. So, Oreo ham and cheese croissant from McDonald's. to say it's very good cheese and the sweetness and the crunchiness from the oreo cookie just goes super well together also libya approved so far everything has been really good actually for the last thing i want to try for breakfast which is cereal with milk and ice cubes i have some ice cubes in here 
And it didn't say if there if I should use a particular cereal, so I found this from Kellogg's. It's a crunchy muesli with peanuts. Um, I think it's like some sort of granola. So I'm going to have this. Alright, so the ice cubes are in here. I'm not and I don't know if I'm supposed to wait, you know, for like for it to cool down. I don't think it's bad because you know I love cold cereal when the milk is like super cold. So I'm guessing it's giving it like a super like you can see. I hope you can see, I hope it focuses. But um I'll let this sit for a sec and I wanted to try these ones. I found these Hanuta. And usually they have Nutella in the middle, but this time they have cookies and cream. And this is a teeny tiny snack review while I wait for my cereal to cool down. I have been wanting to try these for so long. Okay. I see you. It's like legitimately white. Usually it's like Nutella, you know? But um. It has a very strong cookies and cream flavor, which is good. But I think I like the original version better just because I don't know. I don't like the sourness of the, the cream. Anyways, these get a seven out of 10, I would go for the original. But let's try the cereal with the ice cubes. First off, the cereal isn't that great. It sounded good, but. And I guess I get the ice cubes, it's just to cool the milk down and it's actually good. It's di just diluting the milk. But, I mean, it's like drinking 0.1% fat milk because it's just diluted with water. So this is going to be a lower fat milk in that sense. I don't know, I just don't like the cereal. It tastes like healthy tasting granola and that's not good. And um, they don't give the milk any flavor, so. The food combo, like with the ice cubes, is Libya approved. The cereal, however, is a five out of 10, wouldn't buy again. Everything I tried this morning is pretty much Libya approved, except the cereal that wasn't even part of the video, so yeah. The combos I found online, um, which suited for breakfast, are all pretty good, especially the pickle and peanut butter sandwich. Nate, I gotta make you one of these and you have to try them for me, okay? And I promise you, you're gonna not 100% hate them. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that was breakfast. I will be taking the dogs out now and I'll catch you for the custom-made donuts with your weird food combos and I cannot wait to share those with you and um, thank the creator of um, each donut. So yeah, see you in a sec. Had Royal Donuts made me six crazy food combination donuts based on your ideas and we're gonna have them sometime later this day. And this is exactly what happened to Royal Donuts this morning, or to their team. So they had to call it off because they have so much to do, which I totally understand. So I had to take matters into my own hands. And I went back and looked at the screenshots I took of your ideas for donuts and I made them myself.
the creations we have. I'm going to show you some bureau footage right now. We have a fish finger maple syrup donut. We have a mozzarella honey donut. We have a meatball raspberry jam donut. And we have a baklava walnut strawberry sprinkle donut. And these are all your creations. And I want to start with the strawberry baklava walnut donut. And the strawberry sprinkled donut is a homage to Nate because it's his favorite donut. And the idea of the baklava walnut donut came from Atusa212. So thank you so much for handing in your idea. I thought it was great. You all had great ideas. I couldn't, you know, I had to do, see what's realistic. So thank you so much Atusa212 for giving me this idea and I will taste test it and show you if this is actually Livia approved. So we have baklava inside and then walnuts inside and two walnuts as decorations. It's actually really good. It's overall the sweetness that overwhelms. I mean, because baklava is really sweet and the crunchiness from the nuts is really good. And then the sprinkles are super sweet too. So it's a sweetness that overwhelms, but I love it. I have a, the biggest sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. It is really good though. Why not put dough into more dough, right? This one definitely passed the test. I really like this one. Great idea. Next one is a meatball raspberry jam donut. And this idea came from maya.cns. So Maya, this is your creation. Thank you so much for giving me this idea. I um, made it to the best of my abilities and I'm going to try this for you guys right now. I like it because meatballs come close to burger patties. I mean, it's not the same, I know, but they come close. And then, I mean, raspberry jam always goes on burgers, for my liking. I think it's the sort of meatball I picked uh, because it, I can't really taste it, but I think it's just a brand because I didn't make them myself. Um, so the, the, the flavor is really subtle, which I would have loved it to taste more like meatball. But I think, when you get the proper meatballs, this is really good. So I definitely approve of this. It's just my choice of meatball that didn't pass the test. Next one, I wanna try the mozzarella, basil, and honey donut. And this idea came from, oh my goodness, Clarita Caso. Clarita Caso, thank you so much for your idea. This is it, and I hope, I'm sure it's pretty good. My mom actually tested it, so I'm gonna show you this footage right now. So I made mom one of your creations, and it's the mozzarella donut with maple. And how, mm. do, you, how, how do you like it, mom? It's wonderful. Is it wonderful? Yeah, you like it? It is sweet. But savory. Yeah, exactly. It's good, yeah? It's good. I've never heard this. It's cool, huh? <laughs> it's a good creation. <laughs> Gets a mom approved. <laughs> yeah, and she loved it, so I'm sure I'm gonna love it too. Oh yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is buffalo mozzarella. So it has like this extra distinct flavor. If you haven't put your mozzarella on a donut yet, go do it. This is amazing. Oh, this is so good. Oh my goodness. Personally, this is one of my favorites for sure. So Clarita Caso, thank you so much for this idea. It was amazing. And last but not least, this idea is coming from Emma. Kathy, I hope I'm saying that correct. I'm gonna put all your names on the screen. And she said fish sticks and maple syrup. So, Emma, this is your doing, and I hope um, I did it correct. Oh shit, correctly. Mm. 
These were all so, so good. I love that. Guys, thank you so much for your ideas. That was uh, the donut selection. It didn't work out the way I wanted it, but sometimes, you know, you gotta be uh, flexible and creative. So I tried doing it myself. I thought they were really good. Thank you so much for your ideas. And I see you in a little bit for more weird food combos for sure. Later that same evening. Welcome back to dinner, guys. So, I asked you on my Instagram for ideas. And first of all, thank you so much for sending me all your crazy good ideas. Um, I was overwhelmed, I, I'll be honest. But what I saw was that all your most of your suggestions had a sandwich theme again. So pretty much like this morning, but this time your ideas. So I took a few of your ideas and created them. I made like sandwiches. And I also got one idea that I already saw a recipe off. I wasn't sure should I make it. And then some, and one of you suggested it, baked sweet potato with maple syrup, salt, and cinnamon. And I thought that was like the most fallish thing. So I had to make that too. But we give credit to where credit is deserved. And first, what I wanted to try is the peanut butter pickle sandwich. I think one, one of you suggested that, even though a lot of you guys actually suggested that. And that was also on the list. This time it's proper. This morning it was on a croissant. This evening, I mean, we put it on a normal slice of bread with pickles. Again, Nate, I'm so sorry about this, but I gotta try this. I love pickles, but I think with peanut butter is my newest favorite combo, honestly. This is amazing. Honestly, make yourself a pickled peanut butter sandwich. And then Julie Bassi underscore 03 said baked pea sweet potato and cinnamon. So I call you Julie. <laughs> Julie, that was your idea, this baked sweet potato. I put it in the oven for 40 minutes and then I poured over a basically a sauce of butter, maple syrup and cinnamon and salt and baked it for another 10 minutes. And it's really good. I love sweet potatoes, but this is like 100% fall. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's beautiful. That was amazing. Thank you so much for actually reinsuring me to do this. Um, next up we have Hello Doe 1905. This was your idea, Nutella and cheese, so I put it on the sandwich. <laughs> so this is that. I heard Nutella and cheese a couple of times, so I put actually, I think this is Greza cheese on this bread. Besides, the cheese losing a little bit of flavor. I mean, not really losing, but Nutella is overpowering. But it was good, I would eat that again. Like, definitely, this is a proof. Like, all the weird creations are actually really good. And then, my mom's favorite, it's um, salami, cheese, and raspberry jam, she loves this. And I asked her, so she told me that as a crazy food combo. So this is to mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And last, <clears throat> it was my um, my friend's um, Charlie's on Tracks idea to put smoked salmon and peanut butter on a sandwich. Um, I also had crazy good ideas from Nutty Foodie Fitness. Thank you so much. You said peanut butter on a burger. 
I had this before, so. And Nate had a really good idea too. I think I'm gonna do that, that's why I'm not gonna spoil it right now. But yeah, this one is uh, peanut butter smoked salmon. I love smoked salmon. I love peanut butter, but let's try this. I definitely like the combo, but the peanut butter is very heavy. So what I would do probably is I would use take a little bit of peanut butter and mix it into whipped cream so you have like a peanut butter mousse and then put it on. That would be perfect because the tastes go really well together, but the peanut butter just as a butter is very heavy. This video almost turned into eating everything with peanut butter. All right. Again, guys, thank you so much for your awesome ideas. I will be back maybe with uh, dessert or just my goodbyes, but that's it for now. And um, delicious, everything so far has been really, really good, surprisingly. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the weird food combos. I think some of the most popular ones out there. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate it. Like I said, follow me on social media if you wanna be part of like cheat days or want to give me ideas i always super appreciate it and yeah i see you in the next one <laughs> bye guys <laughs>